So this is a heads up. If you're doing a K24A2 head swap into a Accord, a USDM K24A4, keep in mind that this thing right here will give you problems if you're not careful. This little pin will seem to break. That goes, that connects to the, where is it at? It's in there. It's in there. Like right there by my finger. This finger right here. It's in there. The VTC solenoid that goes in. See, that's the VTC. VTC solenoid. Well, that attaches to the harness right here, to this electrical thing. And it turns out that that thing right there got ripped apart. So it, it, it was connected. And I mean, it wasn't fully way in. It was fully way out, fully way in, halfway. So that tend to give the car a lot of problems. And we were giving it, we were blaming the timing chain that it wasn't connected. So if you're doing a head swap, whenever you remove the K24A4, you have to unplug this piece of adapter. VTC solenoid so make sure you're careful not to jam this because this will give you problems this is what gave me a headache for the past three four days and today one of my mechanics he came and diagnosed the car and he and I knew it was something so simple and he said it was this right here so I went to the junkyard and chopped this off and now we're my, my dad's gonna reapply this like that and connect it because it turns out that the one that's in here it's not it's probably missing a pin or it's broken because these things are so sensitive so that's a heads up so now I have a k24 a2 this is just the adding to the kick the valve cover I this is extra I kept my factory k24 a4 cap I kept that and I didn't bring in the k24 a2 TSX so that was by mistake. I was my attentions were to use the the Acura one because that one was that one says 5W30, and this is a RBB1 K24A2 VTEC Performance head with the addition of the of this right here. 